Hello guys, it's Mom Dukes here, and as I promised you guys, I'm about to test out this new poly gel kit, and it's by McCart. That's how I pronounce it, McCart. If somebody else knows how to pronounce it, then let me know. But I'm just going to be um, basically almost like an overlay on my nails. I didn't know what color I wanted to do. This particular set, I've already described it in a previous video, so I have that video link so you can be able to see um, as far as everything that's within this kit. But what you're going to need is your gel color, your base coat, your top coat, of course, your brush for your poly um, slip solution, a little container for your slip solution to go in, and then also the um, spoon on the other end. So you're going to need your spoon and your brush for that. A file to buff your edges and your nail bed, and well, or a buffer. Cotton swabs to wipe off and clean your nail bed, and at the end to clean off your gel, another cotton swab. I have nail forms, and I also have the nail mold. So I don't know if I'm going to do this particular nail because it's shorter than the other nails, as you can see. So I don't know if I'm going to do this particular nail with the form or the mold. I may do the mold so that I can kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to design that nail or if I'm going to design the two uh, ring nails, which it may be. And I believe if I do that, being that I'm using the color blue and the color indigo for my nails, I believe I'm going to go ahead and do this one here, which is a leopard print, but it has a little bit of like a purplish uh, gold and then, of course, black and then blue. So I believe that's what I'm going to go with to put on these two nails for the design. So I think for this one, instead of using the form, I'm going to go ahead and use the tip itself to see. Also, because after I get started and everything, I'm going to, I'm not going to be talk, doing any talking through the video. I'm just going to go through it and just do it for you guys so that you guys can actually see it step by step. This here is a UV light. No, well, let me see. Yes, this is a UV lamp. And this is a LED. So an LED and a UV. UV, if you're doing it, everything that you do in this one, a UV, has to be cured for two minutes. Anything you do in an LED light or LED light is six, 30 to 60 seconds. That's how long you basically need to do this. Why am I showing you both? Because you can use both. I'm going to do one hand using this one. I'm going to do one hand using this one. Then I can let you know which one I like better as far as how I cure, whatever the case may be. Okay? So, for the nail prep itself, again, I'm going to show you guys because they show you a little diagram of how you do it. Okay? And I'm going to try to breeze through real quickly on what you need to do. First, prep your nail. Second, apply base coat and then cure it. And that's for two minutes or 60, 30 or 60 seconds. Three, pick up some of the gel. Four, place it in the um, well. Five, being that I told you guys I'm going to do it in here, this is the way I'm going to do it. If I was doing it this way, then I would have told you the directions for that, which is right there and it's very simple and they break it down for if you're doing a nail form. But being that I'm going to be doing it, well, you know what? I think I am going to use this. And the only reason why I say that is because I'm going to be doing nail forms over. So I'm going to be using this versus freehand because I'm not that good at it yet. So I'm going to be using this on everything else. And on this one, I'm actually going to use the um, this here. So anyway, back to what we have to do. So you're going to take your ball. You're going to add it to the end of um, dual form. You're going to take your non-slip um, solution, rub it in there to spray at the gel. To, and when I mean spray it, you're going to spray it to the length you want it and the thickness that you want that nail to be. And then you're going to apply that to your nail bed. Cure it for two minutes or 30 to 60 seconds, depending on the light source. And then remove, you know, or you move your hand from the light and remove the form. Apply a top coat, cure it for two minutes, and then um, trim and shape the nail. So you're going to apply your top coat and then trim. And that's basically it. So it doesn't tell you have to wipe anything off. So I may not have to use these to wipe anything off. So I may not have a tacky residue. And I'm going to do the same thing as far as prep my nails to get ready. And then after I prep them, I'm going to add my forms and then add my base coat and cure. And the reason for that is, so if any base coat gets to the form, when I put it in there and I extend, that nail form, the product won't stay on the nail form and it'll adhere and it'll come off and it'll go easy and smooth within my nail. So it's just like forming. So that's the only difference when using this. So again, I'm done talking. I didn't explain how to do it. When I get to the foil part, I will explain that and let you guys know. But we're going to go ahead and get into this um, video and I'm going to get to going because I got my Scooby-Doo movie on and I'm going to go on and watch my movie, okay? And then I'm going to let y'all go ahead and enjoy. So enjoy.
Okay, y'all. So, my video cut out. But I have a few things that I am going to touch up on. A few things of which way, what I like better. You know. So, like, this one I did with the form. And I did a two-tone look that you probably can't really tell. A little lighter on the tip, darker behind. This one I did a form. This one I did a form. These two I did the, um, the little nail molds. I do kind of like these two better because it made it more smoother on top. Versus this is smooth, but it's not smooth in a sense. Like, it looks smooth to you guys, but to me, it doesn't. So now all I'm doing now is um, just, you just follow. You put your top coat and everything on it. Like I said, my camera cut out. By the time I looked up, I'm where I'm at now, okay? I get to go in and don't pay attention. But again, this is on my Android device. It's not on my iPhone or any of my iDevices. So this is why I had that problem. So basically now all I'm doing is just going along the sides, buffing it to get the sides cleaned up to get all that um, gel resin off. And you're just shaping them the way your nails. So like, for instance, this is my nail. You can see it didn't go over. I like that. This one, I don't know if y'all can see it kind of went over just slightly. This one, no, this one went over a lot. This one went over just slightly. These two should be pretty good, but with a little bit over on, on that one. I mean, on your nail. You don't want it to be like that or your natural nail won't grow. So like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my sides and everything. And then I'm going to do my other hand, but I'm going to use a different device um, as far as to do it. We're going to see, because I may use my camera and then transfer those files to this device so I can combine the two and edit it from there. But we'll see. We'll see if my phone, because I had to delete some stuff off, but we'll see if this Android, you know, look out for me real good. Like this one is kind of thick, so we're going to keep following that so we can get that kind of dial. I don't like no thick nails, y'all. I like them thick enough to protect my nail, but I don't want it too thick. And then, like I said, I'm just rebuffing, reshaping, you know, nothing special. But they tell you to do it after you add your top coat. So, again, I am going to show you guys um, on the other hand. So just in case if my outfit choice change or anything like that, that's because I may do it later today, but I got a few things I got to go do. I have to go and, you know, do some daily stuff, which is my clothes, laundry, you know, the necessities, the basic things, get my clothes cleaned up. So again, I always take around there because, like I said, I always make sure that I hit all my cuticles and stuff with some oil. But now this is the one there. I like it. I don't know if you guys can see the design. I'm going to go ahead and get that. But then I got to take it at an angle because my nails, they're growing at an angle. Which, that's how my nails grow, y'all. I mean, sometimes I shape them straight. This not one of those times. So. You're gonna see me. Then you could have clipped this back like the excess to get it perfectly within the shape of yours. But see, for me, I kind of already know what mine is. But, like, right there. We'll see how I'm gonna do that. But, I got quite a bit that I wanna take off. So.